Cobra products were developed by GeoGround, the leading German company in geophysical measuring and underground detection techniques. With the clear goal to deliver this technology to all searchers' hands by developing easy-to-use technologies at a price available to all searchers who want to reach their golden dreams. Unleash your passion for discovering treasures by using Cobra GX8000, the best and most reliable device to detect the deepest treasures buried under the ground easily. The Cobra GX8000 metal detector device is the most complete device for treasure detection and excavation of antiquities, which meets the needs of professional treasure hunters and prospectors around the world. For the first time, Cobra GX8000 includes six search systems with different discovering techniques that provide all the tools and functionality for professional and junior prospectors. The Cobra device contains six search systems distributed in the following form. The Long Range Search System, per person. Long Range Search System, dual system. Free Frequency Long Range Search System. Ion System. Ionic System. Bionic System Package Contents The waterproof and shock resistant cover for the device The main unit the main unit of bionic system. Signal receiver 2. Bionic sensor. Ionic sensor. Ion sensor. Grounding signal transmission unit. Link to connect the main unit with the grounding unit. Data transmitter and receiver for sensor system. Link sensor system with transmitter and receiver module. Group skewers for one person system. Skewers set for two-person system.
Charger 3 unit. Connector for Charger 3. Control board. On off button. OK button. Routing stocks. Back button. Inlet wire module frequency generator. Super long distance antenna. Charging inlet. The manufacturer company. Device brand. Long range search system, single system. Collection and installation method. Take out the right arm handle and install the search antenna. and repeat the operation on the left arm handle. Connect the linking unit between the sensor module and the lever handle. We install all the components as shown in the attached picture. Connect the ground frequency generator to the main unit via the special wire. The wire at one end contains two pieces to connect the colors red and black and need to be connected on the same colors on the main device. The other end of the wire connects in a special entrance linking with the ground frequency generator. The main unit programming method. Start the main unit. Turn on the sensing unit by pressing the power button. Choose a long range system. Choose the single mode. You will see a list consisting of four icons. Soil, mineral, depth, and distance. We select the target type to search for from the list of targets in the metal icon. Select the target soil type from the soil icon. Choose the front distance from the distance icon and start from zero to 2,000 meters. Depth selection from the depth icon and starts from zero to 50 meters. After completing all the settings, the user presses the start button. A menu will appear on the main unit screen containing all the settings we have selected. The settings will also appear on the sensor screen. The method of work. Enter the frequency generator into the ground at an unspecified point within the search area and connect the main unit with the frequency generator. Open the search antennas fully and orient the antennas perpendicular to the ground and come into contact with the soil for 15 seconds. Lift the antennas horizontally at an angle of 85 degrees in slow motion. Confirmation of contactless arms handling of the person used. The user then heads toward the south line 
and waits two minutes for the search antennas to pick up the target signals and go to him. When the antennas look towards the target, the user begins to move with the tracking of the antennas. When the antennas reach the buried target field, the state of the antennas changes intersecting. The user identifies the intersection of the antennas with a flat line in the ground. The user must search the other three directions northwest and take the same steps. After determining the user from the four directions flat lines intersecting in the ground, calculates the depth of the target in the following way. Long Range Search System Dual System Installation The package contains four skewers, two of which have a wire inlet and the others are not. Connect the link between the sensor module and the skewers with the wire input. We install all the components as shown in the attached picture. Connecting the ground frequency generator to the main unit via the special wire. The wire at one end contains two pieces to connect the colors red and black and need to be connected on the same colors on the main device. The other end of the wire connects to a special input linking to the ground frequency generator. Main Unit Programming Method We operate the main unit machine. Turn on the sensor by pressing the power button. Choosing a long range system. Choose Dual System. A list of four icons will appear. Minerals, Soil, Distance, Depth. We select the target type to search for from the list of targets in the metal icon. Select the target soil type from the soil icon. Choose the front distance from the distance icon and start from 0 to 2000 meters. Depth selection from depth field starts from 0 to 50 meters. After completing all the settings, we press the start button. A menu will appear on the main unit screen containing all the settings we have selected. It will also appear on the sensor screen. The method of work. Put the frequency generator in the ground at an undetermined point within the search area and connect the main unit with the frequency generator. The two people using this system should stand opposite each other, taking into account the distance depending on the length of the skewers. One person, the holder of the sensor unit, grabs the skewers with the wire inlet and the opposite person grabs the other skewers. The two people connect the skewers together in the figure shown in the following picture. Lift the skewers horizontally, opposite, and evenly between the two people. Make sure that the arms come into contact with the body of the person used. Then the two people head towards the south line, waiting two minutes until the search antennas pick up the target signals and head towards it. When the direction of the skewers search toward the target, The two people head towards the signal at a distance of 50 meters and they repeat the previous process and wait for the skewer's signal. If the skewers are heading in the same direction, the two people will go 20 meters and repeat the process again. In the case of the direction of the skewers opposite to the previous signal, the two people head towards the new direction at a distance of 5 meters and the previous search is repeated until a signal is obtained in the skewers. When the signal changes, one person selects a flat line on the ground. The two people should search from the other three directions, north, east, west, and take the same steps. After identifying the two people from the four directions, flat and intersecting lines on the ground, one person will calculate the depth of the target in the following way. Method of measuring the depth of the target. The target depth calculation for the two systems is performed single and double in the same way as it follows. One person installs the individual system parts and follows the depth measurement process as follows. The user has to cross the flat lines in the ground to form a certain area. The result of the intersection of the area diameters is determined by the user center of this area. The user begins to measure the depth from the center of the area straight on from one of the diameters of this region. The user does not have to track the movement of the antennas in this case and stick to the movement straight. After a certain distance, the antennas will head opposite, at which the user installs a flat line in the ground. The distance between this line and the center area will be the target depth. It is recommended that the user measure the depth from two different diameters to make sure free frequency long range search system
a team of specialized engineers has developed a special technique for this device, which is a free frequency selection technique that suits the need of the user because it is according to long statistics conducted with treasure hunters. There was a constant need for this technique. How to use free frequency technology. First, we operate the device and select the long range selection system. Second, we choose a single or dual system. Note there is no difference in the use of this technique for single or dual systems and the installation of skewers, antennas, and start work as explained previously. Third, free frequency is selected from the list of targets by pressing a button. Fourth, we routinely select soil, depth, and distance. Fifth, after completing the option, we click on the beginning of the search. Sixth, when you start the search, we will notice the start of the search process normally, and we press and move the arrows left and right to change the frequency value. The amount of increase is 100 kHz per pressure. After selecting the desired frequency, press OK again. Ion 